All right, well, hey, everybody. Blues bass riffs, that's what we do here at IWantToPlayBass.com. So if you want to learn all the smoking hot blues bass riffs, sign up, subscribe, become a member, and sign up when you're ready to get serious about playing bass. So today's smoking hot blues bass riff is going to be basically, which I've talked about in other videos, the 12 bar blues. And it's basically your 1, 4, 5. And we'll do it in C today. So we've got C's the 1. Then we've got four, um, F is, F is before, and then G is the five, and they're always dominant chords. So that's basically, that's, that's your blues, your C, C dominant. So basically it's C7, F7, and G7. C7, F7, C7, C7, F7, C7, and a G7, and then down to the F7 to the C7. And it's a 12 bar, so there's basically two bars each. And then on the last bar, you repeat it. So you've got your C, C, E, G, and B flat would be your, would be your C7. So you've got those notes, C, E, G. You've got F A C, um, F A C and E flat. So here's A, E flat, the seven. We're pulling out the seventh, and it because it's a real color tone, so it really defines that chord, that dominant chord. And then we've got our our D seven, D F sharp A and C. What your feel is, you can make it a rock blues, you can make it a, a swing blues, or you just do straight eighth. So whichever the feel, you've got to, whichever you're playing with in the en ensemble there, that's what you, what you want to go with. If it's a swing feel, you want a swing feel in your eighth notes, also swing eighths as well as or straight eights just depending on the feel and hopefully everybody in the band ensemble is um, experienced enough to be able to know that as well you want your drummer to know that if he's playing a swing feel it's going to be a swing feel the whole the whole one arrangement so hopefully you know that if not clear them up on it level them up and let them know you want us how you want a straight eights or feel that's a swing feel straight eights so that's something you get together with your group and most likely everybody will know that by the time if you're playing the blues that's why the blues 12 bar blues is so popular every pretty much you can just get into it and that's kind of where you want to start getting the feel for everybody in the band you just play you throw out C blues and they everybody starts playing to see it's not hard you just improvise over it and you just get a feel for each other what they're going to play and what they're used to playing and what they are more apt to play as of, and that helps everybody out so that's the blues is definitely something you you want to know because it's the best way to most for the groups to get together you're not sitting there explaining well let's go to the c go to the d here then go to here go to five bars here 12 bar blues it's simple it's in in what key it's all you need to know what key and then you go from there so so with that being said here is a part here's 12 bar you know just this is an old traditional one here it's a bass line you can show you know you can do it all day long and then i'll show you the the riff that i'll i'll give you the riff today and that you can do to end the turnaround there so so we're just going c f c g f c all right, so I'm just going to do the standard 12 bars. I'm not focusing on the bass line today. It's going to be the bass riffs. I'm just going to break down just a simple, show you a simple bass riff, but I'm going to play you the, the bass line to get into the, the little turnaround bass riff that, that I use in um, 
you can use as well. I'll show it to you. And it's definitely just improvised. And it's just one of the many blues bass riffs out there. And I'll break it down. And I've got lots more videos. I'll be giving these blues bass riffs out all the time. And like I said, if you don't know me by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the How to Play Bass online course at IWantToPlayBass.com. So jump over to there. Definitely sign up as a free member. Just subscribe as a free member. Get a free ebook there as well on setting up your bass. And when you want to get serious about playing bass, go ahead, hit the enroll button, and we can get going from there. From the fundamentals on, that's how you're going to get, you're going to break down. It's how you're going to be able to improve, 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 improve. So that's what we want to do. So anyway, sorry about that. Further, without further ado, here it is. We've got the 12 bar blues in C, and I'll just get it off. One. That's 12, a little fast tempo. Didn't mean to count it off that fast, but it was a little quicker than what I wanted to. But that's the 12 bars of blues. That's a standard. So you just play that, and like I say, you can get anywhere you want. You don't have to play that walking bass line. You can just... If it's a swing feel, you want to be swinging. Swinging those. That's space that's the chord progression there if you want to do straight eights just depend like I say it depends on the feel what everybody's doing around you I'm not getting into the bass line, just the just the bass riff. So it's um one way something I've found that's pretty cool is to follow um I like a lot of sax solos. I um I listen I I learn them by ear sax solos because they're so cool, especially the one there's lots of them out there. Maybe I'll get into that next um one of the videos on down the road some sax solos that are pretty cool that I'll actually pick up the bass on. And that's something you can do, figure them out on bass, and they're they're pretty cool. So that's one thing about the blues, sax solos are pretty cool. But, um, you know, just something, not, just a little tidbit. Check it out when you get there. But So this, we're going to, so we're doing the bass line. or whatever you want to do but it's so that's basically it so here's this is just the bass line we're just walking like I say we've gone over the bass line so we're going to do we're doing all we're up to 10 bars and this is we're on our 10th bar right here yeah this this will be our 8th eighth, eighth bar target notes so like I say music anything's possible you just got to make sure and it's in the right spot at the right time is all it is you can play stuff that's out there but if it's in the right spot at the right time it's perfect but somebody will be out there and it'll sound like it's off it's the wrong note which you know there is no wrong note but it's just the wrong timing for that note so you know it's just basically I'm using the major pentatonic but I throw in the flat third from the minor pentatonic. And now those are two scales that are 
that will help you solo or improvise or use your fills are those two scales because you don't want them to just, just be the scale that's kind of academic you know that's where you just learn so you know that's it's all right to start off there you definitely want to start off there and then once you learn the scale and those notes of it you'll be able to pick parts of that scale apart so here we just jump from the first note and we jump to that flat third which is the minor third but we're not playing we're not doing the minor pentatonic we're doing the major pentatonic we're just using that flat just to kind of give it some color also a fill you can use in there so you could Sliding up to that flat third, that flat E flat, and then going. So we're using that pattern there. It's almost minor also because we're going, we're going out of the minor pen. We're going, starting off with the minor pentatonic, then we're going to the major pentatonic, and then we do right there. That's part of the minor pentatonic, and then we're just doing a uh, passing tone or a, a grace note, just. into the G. basically a mixture of and you can do that too and it works out perfectly mixed up the major pentatonic with the minor pentatonic it works wonderful so like I say we're just sliding we're in the C so we know the notes of the C um, C pentatonic major pentatonic C D E G A and C and we're actually going with that E we're going we're starting off with the going to the E flat so we're at the Seven, eight, eighth fret, fifth fret, second fret, D string, and then we're doing the grace note, the G. Wait, go to the F now, and then do the grace note. You can do that, or you can. So, so you can basically do that. timing I think you just want to don't play with the octave just go two bars that you can two or one bar however many long you want it to be but, so you want it so you can just fill those two bars up with the with the blues bass riff and and get, get back on with the bass line see would it work with the just the regular straight notes I think we could do not straight eight we want to do swinging So you 
got it. So it's just sliding up to the E flat. C to A, G to F, F sharp to G. So just a little hammer on there. Just a grace note. Just. But you only, once you go to the G, you want to come out to the F. Basically, just I'm just going to do the first four bars, six bars of it. So. So just I'm just gonna do the first six bars. It's not, like I say, it's not too difficult. I'm not gonna, it's just a cool little blues bass riff there, and it's smoking hot. It's and I kind of got it from a sax, sax play I've heard. But I just kind of took it and used it in my own way, which is perfectly fine to do. That's what you want to do. You want to, and it's good ear training. You want to learn other stuff by ear and then it just helps you add character to your lines. So that's the blues bass riff. And like I say, if you haven't subscribed yet here, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you scroll down, I've got some gear stuff down there as well, some of the high-end gear stuff to you know check out to add to your um, repertoire and your arsenal of stuff. So definitely subscribe. And check out I want to play bass.com. Look forward to hearing from y'all. And won't be long, I'll have another video out with just give you another simple hot blues riff, and then you can just add it in your riff there. But that's not all the song. 12 bars goes all night long. You can go all day long and all night long. So check it out. That's what we do here blues, bass riffs all day long. Yeah.